Hi, I am Ashish Sharma from IBM Qdar Product Team and in this video we'll talk about the new updates pertaining to Assistant app where we are freeing analysts from upgrading their interested apps on the arrival of new updates on the app exchange and bringing what's all new on Qdar platform on the fingertips of the SOC team. So to start with, let's first see what's all new feature is all about. So if you go to the assistant app and if you are on the home uh, page of the assistant app, uh, we'll, and if you scroll down a bit, we'll see there are different tiles related to the, uh, related to the network community, uh, IBM security community, IBM Curida releases, Curida support forum and all. So the Curida support forum, uh, if, you, if, you, if you go with the previous version of this application it was broken, so that has been fixed with this release. And we have also added another tile that is IBM Curida release uh, that is that talks about or that gives a crucial information what all uh, new announcements or what all new updates has happened at the platform level. So all those things has been plugged in here uh, on the fingertips for the for the team for the for the SOC team to consume. And if they click on the discover more on what's new here they will be directed to the 101 page. So earlier, the LS needs to actually hop in and they, have, they needs to be cognizant about this website. But with this feature, like it's, since it's already embedded in the console platform itself, so the analyst can go directly from that particular link and see what's all new notices, what's all new announcements has happened, what all key updates happening for the different versions of the QRDAR and and they can best utilize the the uh, the power of the curator for their own IT infrastructure. So, uh, and one more issue which were there earlier that the help section where exactly how we can add uh, the the admin services so that that those steps were since the link was broken so it was difficult for 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 the first time or, or, the, or the admins to understand what how exactly they can add the admin services. But if they go to the help section now, and if they click on how to add an authorized service, so that is something is being mentioned here and they can actually know what is the process of adding an author, add authorized service. Now, if you talk about uh, the what's new or uh, auto update feature, so, for that, we need to go to the application section and hit on the manage and go to the list view. So under the list view, we can see what all apps are uh, are downloaded or being uh, being you know uh, active on the environment uh, of a particular um, curator, right? So here, if we click on this option button, we can see uh, the enable auto update feature with this update updated version of the app. And if let's say if we click on it, then we'll turn on to disable. And let's say if we enable it for the pulse also, right? So we enabled the auto update for the log source management and pulse. And you see that in case in case the updates is available, let's say for here the assistant app, right? Or for the log source management app. So that 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 update happened automatically at the background. And once it has been happened, once it happened successfully, it notifies the end user through the global notification service right so if you see for the QDA pulse also again we have enabled it right and the same information you can find it through the extension management also so if you go to the extension management from there also you can see that in case uh, what if the what is the current version of the application and if the app has been updated what is the re recent version when ex when exactly it got updated so if you see that again the update for the pulse app was available on the app exchange so end user was uh, end user got updated through the global notification service that an update has been successfully happened and to which version happens that also information is logged in there now let's say if we enable uh, the auto update for the pre validation app right and in case uh, now the situation cannot be always always you know a positive one that there could be an issue where uh, the the auto update feature could not happen successfully because of the some error which got encountered right during the process of upgradation so 
we want to mimic and show that you know that also is possible and uh, let's say for this p-validation app right like we have enabled the auto update but if you see that installation failed right so the installation failed because there was an issue with the memory so that memory which is currently existing right or the current memory which is available is not sufficient for this application to get upgraded to the new version so that information has been logged and cured our uh, auto update system has been made very smartly so that this 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 request basically would be done for three days consecutively and in case let's say the the admin fix that issue and the next day again when this auto update uh, feature gets requested and and it finds that the issue has been fixed then it will automatically upgrade it successfully so it will attempt three times sub uh, subsequently uh, for an app uh, to get auto updated and if look and if the issue gets fixed then it will automatically update it will it will get successful updated to the new version and if it is not then after three days of subsequent of uh, continuous attempt or the subsequent attempt if the f error has not been resolved then the auto update feature for auto update functionality for that particular app gets automatically disabled so so that you know uh, we freed up the 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 auto update service in that case and uh, but definitely the previous version on which the the app was there it will keep on working but not to the upgraded version so here you can find more information around the particular error like what exactly happened when exactly it happened right uh, you can even see that there were three events which got logged and that was all for the failed and uh, when exactly it happened uh, you can see for which application to what uh, version it was attempted for the upgradation and even for the successful also you can see if you click on the all you can see uh, which all apps got updated when exactly it got updated to which version it got updated right so all those key informations are beautifully logged by the QLDAR for the admin to consume right so you see that pulse got upgraded with the version 2.2.12 right even for the log source management we have got the successful upgradation where it got updated to 7.0.8 right so uh, so this is was the overall idea and this was overall uh, demo for both the features that's what's new and um, auto update feature and I hope uh, both these enhancements and both these capabilities add a lot of value to our customers and to the sub team. And uh, if you want to understand more about this, you can click on the community blog link, which will be there embedded in the description below in the channel. And uh, you can see that and you can you know, understand step by step how exactly you can uh, use these both the features.